Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where uh, technically today it's actually N7 day um, so happy late N7 day <laughs> uh, from from when this video will go up but of course I'm gonna play some Mass Effect on this day and also as you may have just heard the mic move I'm trying to sort of rearrange things a bit because I have been thrown into a new room at the hotel I'm staying in for work because my other one was leaking the ceiling was leaking and it turns out a toilet pipe was broken so that's cool luckily it was only leaking in the bathroom but now I'm in a room hopefully only for a few days is um, and it's extra sad because today I was gonna stream for N7 day and I can't because I don't have an Ethernet cable like outlet in this room so I am stuck Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little distracted because I'm trying to make sure that the mic's working. But yes, we're going to hop right into things. We are going to go get the professor. Ah, uh, talk to Aria. Let's go. So we're going to go back to the Omega system. And, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm just desperately hoping that, um, oh, I forget. <laughs> um, that whoever is in the room next to me because what's kind of nice is that this room is um it's a corner room so there's only one person on the other side of me and they don't they're not on my tv side they're like you know behind me so i'm hoping whoever's over there can't really hear me um i don't even know if the people in my other room on the other on the either side of my either side of my other room could hear me but they at least never I never said I bothered them so <laughs> so there's that oh yeah yeah you get to like do the exploration percentage in the systems oh oh and we get to mine oh no maybe we don't get to mine I don't know maybe not yet we'll see uh, most red brown dwarf but I'm gonna read this really quick All right, so here's one of the the bestest parts of Mass Effect 2 is, okay, I couldn't remember. Launching probe. The mining- In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. I wouldn't say it's a mining mini game. Launching probe. So much as a in research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. So much is just, you know, <laughs> a part of the game. I actually do find this somewhat soothing. Probe away. The Collector Ch no, Armor Research Project. I can't even see any of this stuff yet. I can't even go look at it. And the game's like, yo, <laughs> check it. Things you can't have yet. I'm like, cool. And we've basically taken everything out of there that we can. This is just a, a skeevy system. So you have to buy probes. And you have to buy fuel. Oh, here, let's get some. We don't have any. You can get between planets within a system. You just can't. Um, there's like some other method of travel that requires fuel. I can't remember. But this is fine. This doesn't use up fuel. fuel. For whatever reason. I just realized that I am gonna have a lot of editing out to do. Because this is not, you know, the most thrilling thing to watch. Probe away. <laughs> I'm gonna have like mining episodes where like nothing happens and they'll be all edited out. They did make the planets look really, really nice. 
100% of the system. Done. I'll probably try to be a little quicker in this game with downtime stuff. So if anybody wants me to like read the read the planet like uh, descriptions and stuff, like let me know. I'm more than happy to do it and I read it on my own. But I figure unless it's like super cool, I'll probably just try to go quickly. Probably just try to go quickly. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, here, we'll read this one. Built in the mined-out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space, space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time there ever was one. Omega, man. <laughs> It's a, it's a place, let me tell you. Good, bad, and ugly. Oh my gosh. It looks so nice. This is all we have. So, uh, this is what we're going with. And, um... Hi. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I, I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. <laughs> welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on mm. you. Afterlife, now. I mean, you should probably like... I'm receiving warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Oh, shoot. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Look. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. He's he's right there. I, I can't... I can't really go past him. Shut it. Oh. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Okay. <laughs> What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Yeah, the, but you, if you're gonna be dead, <laughs> does it even matter? My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates in. <laughs> Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Well, uh, I guess this is as... <laughs> Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. I don't even know this man. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. Uh, no. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. 
You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. <laughs> I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. His armor looks amazing. Anyway, welcome to Zaid Misani, uh, who we just picked picked up. I'm actually gonna see if I can bring it with me. It'd be pretty dope. Bring firearms and antihistamines. <laughs> Request new. Yes, let's bring. This would be an interesting squad. What does Saeed use? Assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Okay. Miranda uses machine pistol, heavy pistol. I use shotgun, machine pistol, and heavy pistol. And the arc projector, which I still haven't used. I don't think they have like ambient dialogue in this one. Maybe a little bit? You okay, Miranda? You coming? Anyway, so we heard earlier there's a quarantine, right? We also can pick up Archangel here. We just picked up Zaid. I forget he's like that easy to pick up. I didn't even have to go out of my way. Can I talk to you yet? Oh no, here we Let's see if Miranda will answer. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. It's, uh, it's not pretty. But there are normal people here, like we'll see later. Um, there are people here just trying to make the best of bad situations, you know? And then there's also like a bunch of really terrible people. That's where we go find Archangel. But we should go talk to the Queen of Omega before anything else. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ugh. Thanks. Oh. If, uh, for those who maybe don't know, uh, these guys are Batarians, who we've not seen? I don't think we've seen any in Mass Effect 1, unless we did the DLC, which we did not do. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now, I actually, I actually don't even, I don't remember where this goes, if it goes anywhere. Because, like, I'm the one who initiate contact, but I have no idea why I did that. Like, it's just there as a button to click, so I click it, <laughs> you know? Anyway, here we go. Well, it looks just like the bar in Mass Effect 1, but it's not. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Sweet talk. No, okay, we're not gonna do anything. We gotta go. Oh, okay, I will buy the bottle of brandy. Yes. Okay. I've seen a Vorcha shoot a man. Oh no! It was another Vorcha. What? <laughs> you wanna talk? Talk to her. Bye, Anto. Hmm, what a, what a nice place. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. You can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the She's questions. She's so cool. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. She's so cool. <laughs> but you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. 
It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. Please try. I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock? I don't think that's gonna work that way, but you can think that. I'm Commander Shepard. I came back from the dead. So, what can I do for you? Uh, One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. She's just, she's a very powerful woman. Very much knows her own mind. <laughs> and I've always thought this shot is really funny because it's like this weird side boob shot. <laughs> like it's mostly focusing on Shepard, right? But like, it is a, like it's not an unrealistic shot. It is just like, oh, side boob. <laughs> Tell me how you got set up here. She's like, I'm gonna shoot That's you. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. I like how both they're both very like casual, but like... Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Very deliberate. So you must know what's what on Omega. That's such a dumb question. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tools. I'm sure. Just don't waste my time. I'm sure they do, and all that money comes back to Arya. <laughs> I'm looking for Morden Solas. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just the way she likes Just him. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. <laughs> if you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead, too? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble. I did uh, intentionally, like, I made this choice, but that is perhaps a tidbit of information Arya didn't need to know. Because uh, information is power, like she said. So that's that alone that I'm making a team. Like, she's like, hmm, you know, she's gonna keep track of that. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. That could be our way in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Yeah, he'll mess with other people's uh, bottom lines, but he uh, knows better than to mess with Arya. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. Uh, I think that's good. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. So that's Arya, a very famous uh, NPC character in the Mass Effect universe. Let's... Oh, I should level up Zayn.
sure. Even across the board. And what am I... I don't know if I've got enough for this next Paragon event. Oops. Ooh, okay. I hear you're recruiting. Why don't you step inside? I do look competent. You'll get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Mm. You're in the wrong place, honey. Do Stripper's quarters are that way. Do I look? Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them. Like, do you think... <laughs> like, I'm wearing full-on armor. I have weapons strapped in my back. Anyway, uh, the older I get, the more likely I am to take Renegade options. But yes, uh, Paragon and Renegade's a little tiny bit more organic in this game. Where you can you can trigger events, uh, um, or you can choose to like hit the trigger for certain events. If I hadn't done anything, I can't remember what happens when you don't take that event. But you know, I uh, I find myself taking renegade options a little bit more, especially because I had Canada in Mass Effect Two as Shepard is just like I'm here to get things done, and like she's gonna go about it like as like her normal like you know paragon self but you can't help maybe have a little tiny bit of like a shorter temper on some things a little less patience after being like denied by the council again and like all these you know like things like she's like i i lived i died i came back and things still haven't changed <laughs> you know so i always picture her as like having a tiny bit of a shorter temper <laughs> sure if this is the place to go after archangel this is the place Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. <laughs> You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Paper pusher. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's just one man. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Uh, a graceless uh, approach, but one that would work. Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long. I just got here. He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns. But all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but... The others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? <laughs> Just head over to the transport depot knuckles. outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. I love that. Send in the next it's one. so cheesy. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this 50, pistol that I want to use. 50 credits. Get your money back. Hey, Woody! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. So I think he's supposed to be a kid, but he looks like an adult, but he's like 18 or something. Um, but yeah, no, that kid uh, definitely would have 100%. I think you actually do, if you don't do that, you will see him die later when you're trying to go get Archangel. Because 
all I did with that pistol, I don't know if you could see it, I just hit it with the like the base of like the palm of my hand and like the heel of my hand and it broke. 50 credits on a pistol. 50 credits. I'm I'm I am floored. Uh, what is this? Oh, Dagnus. I knew a bar out on the front that looked like this. Me and some friends got stupid one night. Long story short, tempers fled, followed by pistols. We all got out, said my buddy Narka. Places like this are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. Oh, dang, jeez. Awkward, this is super awkward. Bye. I'm out of here, man. He's like, I love, I love that interaction because the guy's just like, I don't care. I don't, I don't know what your deal is, and I don't care. He's like, I get paid either way. I'm excited to do the Omega DLC. I have never actually done it before. Wait, no, 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 no. Lied, I lied. I did it once. Oh wait, mm. let's go do this really quick. If you are that type of person, apply to Oh no, actually maybe not. We're not gonna do that. Hang on, I'm. So, I want to make sure that I. I want to. Are they frozen? Oh god. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's all just. What is the word where it's like um just a facade essentially? You're a blight. You're a blight. You're a blight, and you're a blight. Me, moi. I love how it's just humans around him going, "Hey, man, don't be a dick." Let's we'll talk to him later. Did you? Oh my gosh, the Shepherd Memorial Plaza. I might have something here for you. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. Uh oh. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. And, like, anything else. Uh, yeah, buy these. Uh, the Turian frigate, right? Ooh, these are some of the upgrades. We, we have to buy a lot of them. Sometimes you can get them by scanning. <laughs> the titulating alien magazine. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's a hand art. It's tentacle stuff. The blood armor! Yes! Originally, this is the Dragon Age armor. It looks so good! Originally created. I, I thought that was in the Citadel. Apparently, it's here. Uh, the set of armors undergone as much or more field testing than those of modern militaries. He's a unique proprietary power cell that costs as much as blah blah blah. Microframe computer adapts to any top tier omni tool kinetic barrier or biotic ant, giving breathtaking and error free performance. Chest and shoulder piece bears the logo of the Edmonton Blood Dragons, and the inside of the armor bears the signatures of the entire team. When and how the elusive man got his hands on the armor is unknown, but several of the signatures bear messages such as Exploded the Geth and Shepherd Get Well Soon. They just gave it to me. <laughs> he, he acquired it from the freaking championship league and they signed it all. Give me. It's expensive, don't care. Turian frigate, yes. Sniper damage, oh, yes. This. Capacitor helmet, yeah, I want it. Cool, cool, I gotta think. Look, you know, uh, I don't need that. <laughs> um, anyway, I think I should probably go. Look, yeah. I know that I need to do that. We need to go look, because the, the model ships will show up in my room on a little shelf dedicated to them, and it's always really cool. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I'm sorry I'm a bit distracted in this one, but um, 
but we're getting there. I just think longingly of the day we're gonna find Thane. But I acquired Zaid earlier than I expected. I forgot he was in the hallway, so uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Really quick, I wanna say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patrons, Skellamonger, thank you so much, and Reese Galito, thank you so much. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron and the super bestest. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.